you know, life is paradox. Blah, 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 blah. What are you talking about? You don't even know the first thing about paradox. You don't know anything. You don't know a damn thing. Okay, well, I don't know who that, whose voice that was, but who doesn't think I know? Of course I know things. I know that I just drank some water. It was wet and it feels good. That's not the kind of knowledge that I'm talking about. I'm talking about inner knowledge. What do you, what do you mean inner knowledge? What are you talking about inner? In, in where? In where? Where are you looking? <laughs> the water was in a cup, then it was in my mouth, and now it's in my stomach. What, 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 what more do you want? <laughs> like, that's it, okay? If you can't come up with some grand spiritual idea to share with people, um, insightful, <laughs> insightful packaged bullshit that will feed people along each step of the path that whatever, whatever the path that they're on, then just be real about it and say, look, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I know exactly what I'm talking about. And at the same time, I just don't know what that is. And that's as far as I can go with it. I, I like, there's certain wisdom that is applicable to everyone, actually. Like, I, look, as we all individuate, we will be closed off to certain things. Necessarily, um, the process of individuation takes us from the whole and from nothing into something. And eventually, we're able to build a some kind of a container to hold our little part of that whatever. And then maybe the boundaries can dissolve and become more permeable. And then we can come to and fro and here and there and, um, you know, here I am and okay, now I'm gone. And that, you know, to be able to, oh, to be able to knowingly live and die and live and die in every moment is a complete letting go of control. It's not just a little bit of letting go or mostly let it go. It's complete letting go of control. Like you are no longer in charge of your life whatsoever. And that doesn't mean that someone else is in charge of it. And it doesn't mean that there's a, an entity or an angel or a God or anything like there's a certain point for some people on the spiritual path that you have to say, you know what, actually, if there's nothing fine, if there's nothing fine and think something presents itself, uh, something will, something will present itself. Of course. Um, that's just, you can't have one without the other. But the reason why I haven't spoken about this stuff is because I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know anything. Like, I feel as though I know exactly what's going on. But I can't embody that. So it doesn't do me any good to try to talk about it. It is, it's frustrating because there's two sides to this. And one of those sides is that you don't know. You just don't know. And you, you never, you never um, progress beyond that. There's not going to be a time that comes where you know everything. It's just not going to happen. You might for a moment. Um, and on the other hand, you know exactly what's going on in every, in every given moment. Um, and there is a, there is a self, there's a huge self deception that's happening all the time as long as you are in any way attached to any ideas or any thoughts or anything, which for me personally, I am massively attached to all of it. And so I don't, I don't allow myself to see what is actually true. Um, and I have to be able to somehow accept that, like, that's the choice that I'm making. And maybe that's just going to be okay. Maybe it's okay that 
you know, I'm choosing to live in ignorance, you know, that, that I've decided that that is what's best for me and me as an ego, you can call it whatever you want, but as the one who is controlling this whole situation and protecting myself from dissolution, um, that, you know, that's just, that's, that's my choice. I choose to remain hidden and remain in ignorance and to stay um, confused and to stay attached and all those things that are um, what prevent us from realizing the way that things actually are. Like, do I need to be in communion with all that is all the time? No, no, I don't. Obviously not. I mean, would it make my life better, happier? I don't know. Maybe it would make it worse. Who knows? Like, spirituality, the spiritual path is not about anything, really, but it certainly is not about anything to do with health or self-improvement or feeling better. It's really not about those things. Like, that's not to say that you don't need to work on those things if that's what you need to work on. Like, if you can't feel, like, like me, if you can't feel pleasure, you're not able to sustain any positive experiences in your body. Well, maybe that's something that you might be motivated to work on. That's not what spirituality is. That's just, you know, spirituality is not anything. It's not any particular thing. Um, we all want to find something to attach to, whether it's a mission or a purpose or a person or an idea in every given moment. We're always wanting to attach to something. Um, like I'm always searching for it, even when I'm talking here. Where is that point that I'm going to latch onto and then that's I'm going to ride that horse? Um, <clears throat> and then things will be okay because I'll be... <laughs> be in something, on something, with something, you know, that, that, that there's this sense of separation or dissatisfaction with just the mess of things just imperfectly perfect as they are. Um, it has to be somehow contained and moved and controlled and directed in some way. And <laughs> I just want to feel about our, I just want to feel at peace, right? And <coughs> talking, like I've reached my limit. I've reached my limit of talking. I know that. And I just need to rest and relax because my body is medically, physically problematic. And that's, you know, what I want is not what's happening. So, anyway. <laughs>